You want to talk plants? Garlic. Scientific name, Allium sativum. Allium is the Latin name for garlic, and it might have its roots in the Greek allio, to avoid, referring to its pungent smell. Sativum referring to being planted or cultivated, and allium sativum meaning cultivated garlic. Plant family, Amaryllidaceae or Amaryllidaceae. Indeed, a family relative to your Christmas or Valentine's Day Amaryllis, which is a South African species. Garlic cousins, onion, leek, shallots, all in the same genus, allium. You might think that garlic is native to Mediterranean area. And there are numerous allium relatives that are native to the Mediterranean and throughout Europe. Take allium ursinum, for example, which is both cultivated and foraged from the wild for its garlicky tasting leaves. Allium ursinum is known as wild garlic, ramsons, broadleaf garlic, wood garlic, and more. But allium sativum, the garlic, is native to Central Asia. Garlic is a perennial flowering plant surviving winter as underground storage shoot system. What we call a bulb consists mainly of storage leaves, which is what the clothes we eat are, storage leaves. If you have enough space, growing your own garlic is relatively easy, and it's mostly a pest-free crop, which does not mean completely pest-free most years. Plant cloves late in the fall. Depending on how far north or south you live, you can plant garlic even throughout winter and early spring. Plant dense, leaving enough space to allow the bulbs to grow. I cover with straw to prevent weed. Planted in the late fall, garlic will leaf out even at the beginning of winter. And the leaves of garlic do not freeze as garlic has adapted to have a reduced amount of water in its leaves compared to, it to say, lettuce leaves. Garlic leaves are flat when compared to onion leaves, which are hollow and more or less cylindrical. Green garlic is delicious eaten throughout spring. And I'm still surprised that this practice did not catch on in America yet, considering how common green onions are. Green garlic is at least as delicious as green onions, fresh as a side in salads or in cooked food. At some point in late spring, garlic will form a scape, a leafless stem that supports the globular inflorescence of small white pink to purple flowers. Unless you're growing ornamental alliums, I suggest you pick these scapes soon after they are produced. When, gro when growing garlic for their underground storage structure, the cloves, you do not want the plant to waste any energy on producing flowers, fruits, and seeds. As one of my botany professors used to say, sex is expensive, even for plants. Making flowers and fruits takes a lot of energy. So if you want large cloves, snap these scapes in the morning when plants are full of water. When they are full of water, they are turgid and they break relatively easy. Scapes are cylindrical and narrower than the leaves, and many times they are curly at the beginning of their growth. I pick them soon after they start scaping, and I find them delicious, fresh like eating green garlic, which by the time the scapes are produced, it is too old. Scapes are equally delicious, fresh or chopped in cooked food. I add them to cooked food after the cooking is complete to expose them to the least amount of heat. They are great in making a gorgeously green garlicky paste in a blender with some water, salt, and oil. Use this paste on anything you would like garlic on. After picking up the scapes, give your garlic a month or two, depending on the weather and the global latitude you are located at. Sometimes in late June or July, garlic is ready to pull out when the leaves are already dry or they start to dry up. Cut both the roots and the leaves so they do not continue to lose water through a leaf evapotranspiration. Unless you are growing a soft neck variety and you are planning to braid them, in that case, do not cut the leaves, place them to dry before braiding to avoid mold. Store it in a cool, dry place and enjoy it as often as you like or as much as your body can take it. There are more than a hundred cultivars of garlic and two major groups are called hard neck and soft neck. Depending on which variety you're growing, you can braid those beautiful braids or even garlic leaves. Braid 
Grating garlic dried leaves allows for easier storage. You want the garlic to dry enough to avoid mold. In the past, people would hang these braids wherever there is a hang to hang on to, and that often happened to be on the windows. Those families that had more garlic displayed in their windows might have had less colds, flus, and disease that following winter as they ate more garlic. And from that, garlic got its reputation that it will keep bad spirits away. Spirits that would bring that disease or worse, vampires. Besides keeping vampires away, why should you include more garlic in your life? Both in your garden uh, or even in a pot, in your window seal, and especially in your kitchen and food. I prefer garlic raw as it's mostly used in Romania. We do add it to numerous sauces and cooked foods, but usually right before you're done cooking for the least heat exposure. The most common use of garlic in Romania is garlic sauce. Cloves are usually crushed, not sliced or chopped, to rupture more garlic cells, which does sound cruel, and I still hope that plants do not feel pain. Crushed garlic cloves adding salt through osmosis helps draw some water out, making a paste. You can also add some cold water or some healthy oil of your preference. Adding oil protects your stomach from the sharpness of garlic, especially if you're not used to eating raw garlic. Use this garlic sauce in water or oil to garnish a variety of food, particularly delicious on fried potatoes or on fresh, warm bread. My mom's remedy for an impending cold, fresh, warm bread dipped in freshly made garlic sauce with olive oil, poised to keep the bad spirits away. You can also make a garlic mayonnaise. In this case, instead of eggs, you are using crushed garlic cloves to make an emulsion with a healthy oil of your choice. Besides being delicious, given that it can be an acquired taste, especially if you're not Romanian and you're not growing up with it, garlic is considered to have numerous health benefits. It was used since antiquity, and Hippocrates was recommending garlic to treat pulmonary ailments and a variety of medical conditions. Garlic use was well documented in, by Egyptian, Babylonian, Greek, Roman, and Chinese texts. Modern research suggests that garlic contains numerous chemical compounds of medicinal interest. The pungent smell of garlic when any part of garlic plant and cloves in particular are crushed, chopped, or chewed, or otherwise cells are ruptured, comes from sulfur compounds. This smell, it's a warning sign for herbivores saying, eat me and you'll suffer the consequences of pain and indigestion. So most herbivores avoid garlic, and garlic is particularly dangerous to cats and dogs. One reason why humans are such a successful species taking all over the world is that we adapted to eat anything we can catch and digest. We adapted to eat plants that adapted not to being eaten. Health benefits. Garlic is highly nutritious, containing vitamins and important microminerals such as manganese, selenium, calcium, copper, phosphorus, iron. Garlic is considered to reduce the gravity and length of colds and flus, but like all research, it needs more research. If you're getting a cold often and you're not having any side effects from eating garlic, it might worth adding more garlic to your nutrition. My suggestion, again, if you're not having any side effects, raw crushed garlic with a bit of salt in some healthy oil on your favorite food, right when you feel you're about to come down with a cold. Garlic is considered to reduce blood pressure. Human studies have suggested that the equivalent of about four cloves a day taken as garlic supplement can have a significant impact in reducing blood pressure. Garlic is also considered to reduce the total and the bad LDL cholesterol. What makes this cholesterol particularly bad is that it hangs out in your arteries, leading to plaque that leads to high blood pressure and cardiovascular disease. Garlic contains antioxidants that protect against oxidative damage. Oxidative cell damage from free radicals contributes to the aging process. Combined effects of reducing cholesterol, re reducing blood pressure, together with its antioxidant properties, makes garlic a good choice that might reduce the risk of brain diseases such as Alzheimer's and dementia, helping you not just adding more years to your life, but also hopefully adding more life to your years. 
And speaking of more life to your years, garlic might improve athletic performance. Ancient cultures used garlic to reduce fatigue and enhance laborers' work capacity. Well, besides Inca cultures that had coca plant leaves. Apparently, garlic was given to Olympic athletes in ancient Greece to improve their athletic performance. Eating garlic might help detoxify heavy metals from your body. The sulfur compounds have been suggested to protect against organ damage from heavy metal toxicity. Eating more garlic might improve bone health and reduce the damaging effects of osteoarthritis. Garlic might minimize bone loss by increasing estrogen levels in females, a particular benefit to menopausal women. Including more garlic to your life is relatively easy. Raw or cooked, it will add more flavor and beneficial phytonutrients to your food. Speaking of cooked garlic, indeed not a common practice in Romania where you try to expose garlic to the least amount of heat to preserve the highest potency of beneficial chemicals. But if you're not used to raw garlic, the baking removes its pungent taste. A whole garlic or several slice off the root part and roast in a garlic roaster or aluminum foil. Baked or roasted garlic, it's impressively mild and even sweet compared to the raw garlic. If it is just a bad breath that you're having problems with, maybe try combining it with parsley, which is supposed to help. If you did not discover the South American chimichurri yet, you might be pleasantly impressed by this powerful trio combination. Parsley, garlic, and chili pepper. Cautions. Garlic is generally safe in small amounts in food, but some people are allergic to garlic. Garlic might cause skin irritation and damage similar to a burn. Garlic can cause heartburn, gas, and diarrhea, especially when you're not used to it. Garlic might increase the risk of bleeding, and if you're on blood thinning medications, please talk to your healthcare provider. If you're about to have surgery, garlic can prolong bleeding time and interfere with blood pressure and blood sugar levels. Stop taking garlic and probably all herbals at least two weeks before a scheduled surgery. Otherwise, hopefully you might consider exploring how to add more garlic to your life.